okay so this is my flow visualization now it will ask me how, for what you want to see the flow do you want to give a start with okay anyone who starts from home page i want to see on which pages they are going or do you want to see a central node that how people are coming to home page and then how they are going to other pages or maybe i want to see my order confirmation page so i'll give the order confirmation page name here and i'll see how people are coming to my page so you can give either starts with contains or ends with okay you can't give all uh, like values you need to give any one of it either starts with contains or ends with so let me show a scenario where i want to see how visitors go from home page to other pages I'll select page and then home. Okay. I'll click on build. So this was what I explained you earlier also that uh, when I was explaining props that now you can drop any dimension uh, for which you want to see the flow. It's not like you need a prop to see the flow. You can uh, use any EVAR also to see the flow. So it's not restricted to prop or evar. Uh, uh, earlier, the major difference between props and evars was based on pathing. Now it's not that relevant. So you now, here you can see that how people are going from home to other pages and then from these pages to other pages. Okay, So you can see the complete flow here. So my flow container is currently visitors. You can change it also if you want to show data based on, let's say visits. There are two flow container option. You can change it to visit level also, but I want to see entire visitor journey. So if you uh, use visits, then only I can see how user is going from one page to another in a 30 uh, minute session. But when I say visitors, it's a large view. I can see if visitor are even coming after um, six months, um, what was their previous page and what is the current page and what is the page that they are going on currently. So I can select visit or visitors depending on my requirement. So this is uh, page traffic flow visualization. Now let's go to fallout visualization. Fallout is uh, done when we want to know how um, visitors are navigating from one step to another. In flow, we were just giving one dimension value and I was seeing the same uh, the flow within that same dimension. So when I'm selecting home page, I'm seeing the flow between all the pages. I'm not uh, seeing the flow from one dimension to another dimension, okay? That's within one dimension. But let's say um, when I dropped fallout, these are all visitors, 100% visitors who came on my site. If I want, I can remove that and make some other as uh, thing as the starting point, but it's okay. Let's say like these are all the visitors that came on my website. Now I want to see out of all these visitors, how many went to my product category page or a product detail page if it's there. Okay. Let's say I want to see how many went to my product detail page. Okay, so I'll select the product detail page. Only 1.2% out of all the visitors who came my, on my website went to uh, this product detail page and it is also showing me number of visitors. These are the total visitors. These are the visitors going to the product detail page. Now, let's say I want to know how many dead cart additions after going to that product detail page. See, I'm playing with different dimensions and metrics here. I'm not seeing a flow within one single uh, thing, like how many went from one page to another page. The thing that was possible with flow report here, it's something else. You can still see like people going from one page to another page, but here it gives you a flexibility that you can see people going from one pay, uh, one dimension to another dimension value, one dimension value to some metric. So cart addition is a metric where um, anyone who adds a product to the cart on the, uh, when they click on add to cart, this event is captured cart addition. So I can see like how many went to product detail page and then click on the add to cart button. 
and we can see the path and here also you can see if you want to have like eventual path may uh, eventual path means like maybe i went to 10 other different things in between but i did uh, do a add to cart after going to product detail page so this is at visitor level so let's say i came on um, this product detail page today okay tomorrow i went to some other uh, product detail page then day after tomorrow i go to home page and then after uh, like 2 3 days i go to uh, this uh, cart page and i add a product to my cart i click on add to cart and do a cart addition so that will be included in this flow but if i would have said next hit then only if my next hit so today if i went to product detail page whatever is my next hit if i have done add to cart in that next hit then only i will be included here so let's take next hit now see the number of visitors have re reduced earlier it was 0.8 now it's 0.6% so depending how you want to see the data uh, ask your client like how do you want to see the data is um, eventual okay or do you want to see it like next to next like how user did one action then second action then third action in a flow then uh, use next it if um, some other activities can happen in between you are just concerned about people going from uh, one thing to another then use eventual and not next it next hit is a part of eventual hit it just includes other uh, data as well if i am going after few days also it will consider me so this is about fallout visualization these are the important visualizations that we can uh, that we should focus on